quote. Oh, hey guys, welcome to Popcraft. My name is Beth, and today we're gonna do a mixed media watercolor, Copic marker, mm, ink, shark underneath. And then, and then we're gonna frost it over with some tracing paper and put a little boy on top who's gonna get eaten by that shark. Let's dive into it. Oh, it's a, it's a shark pun. This is a shadow box, which means that it's a frame that has depth to it. We've got this like divider guy, which is what uh, prevents the glass from sliding down onto the paper. We'll use this later. Get excited. I've already cut down a piece watercolor paper. I love mixed media. I love playing with a bunch of different things and seeing if they'll layer and if they'll work together. The markers are alcohol-based and the watercolor is obviously water-based, and so what do I put down first? What do I not? It's gonna be exciting. I'm tickled. The idea here is to draw a large, spooky, scary shark that's coming up with its big old bloody teeth to get ya, and then we're gonna obscure it with a layer of tracing paper. Um, so you can kind of see the shark, because unknown dangers, producer Ian says, is the scariest part of Jaws. I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of carve this out with the Copic sketch marker. And I think the key to what I'm doing right now is to make sure that everything is like highly contrasted. So our blacks and our whites have to be very distinct from each other because once we put the frosted uh, tracing paper over top of it, we're gonna blur a ton of what we're looking at. It looks like I've made a sea slug. I think I need to put a light in the eye because do sharks have souls? With watercolor, you can just build up color in spots where you've already laid the color down. That's one way to keep it from getting muddy. If you combine a lot of colors with watercolor, it's very unforgiving. These are my favorite inking pens. They're Pigma Microns. Uh, I use them all the time for a bunch of different things. This is an 05, so it's one of the larger tipped ones. I'm gonna use that in order to go in and kind of chisel out all the dark crevices. And they're pretty inexpensive. So again, we're gonna be putting that tracing paper over top of him. Uh, and so everything very high contrast is gonna stick out, but it would be cool to get some sense of depth where it's like the shark is moving further away. And I'm gonna do that by lightening uh, the edges of him as we go back. Okay, I've decided, definitely do what are you? Alcohol. Definitely do alcohol after the watercolor. That seems to be applying really nicely. It also really matters what paper you're using when it comes to alcohol markers, because these will not work on most papers. Even this is gonna be bleeding through a little bit. Do you see all of that? Okay, we're done with the shark. We're done with the bottom layer. Move on to the next part of this Jaws ring. It's like drawing, but now we're gonna put this into the shadow box and we're gonna layer the tracing paper over top. Any tracing paper will do. The point is we want something that's very, very thin and see-through. I'll show you what it does. This is tracing paper and when it's higher than the shark, uh, you can't see it, but the closer we get, the more and more we start to see. Because we want the shark to be like behind frosted glass. We don't want to be able to see the shark. We just want to know that there's a danger there. I want to paint a, a delightful, joyous little boy in an inner tube, just floating on the top of the water, minding his own business. This is my test drawing. We could put him dead center. Let's just pencil the boy in. In fact, when you're drawing children, their heads are larger than the rest of their body, which seems obvious, but a lot of people make this mistake. They'll draw like an adult form, but small. So I finished this, right? But the thing is, it's not a permanent solution. Oh, buddy. Oh no, the small boy. Oh, he's smudged. I wanna do an alt, that's what that's called. Because our medium, wasn't able to stick to the glass permanently. We're just gonna go ahead and uh, <laughs> draw on the tracing paper. Let's do it. I have discovered that Copic markers work really nicely on tracing paper. Okay, let's put him 
back into the uh, shark's mouth. Remember I told you this was gonna come back. It's back. Taking the middle part out. Shark boy. I'm just gonna set the tracing paper in, make sure it's smooth. Now we're gonna put the shark face down. So he sits on the bottom of that divider. There's a gap between the transparency and the shark. Put the back in. Push our nubbins down. Let's see if it works. And look at him. Look at him, he's about to be eaten by a shark. That looks great. As you saw, we hit a bunch of bumps in the road to get to this final product, but I'm really happy with where it ended up. So sometimes your first idea is not always the best one, eh? Thanks for watching. Make sure to follow us across all social media, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, Twitch. We're all over the place, man. And if you guys want to make some shadow box artwork, tag us. Tag Gamma Ray. I want to see it. We will see you all next week. Bye.